Hello and welcome to a whole new Pokemon Trade on team building video. Today we are going to be building a team around this mighty legendary in the OU tier. We are going to be building a team around Zeus the Thunderous. It's called Zeus, fairly obviously. Lightning, come on. We, we know why it's called Zeus. I don't even need to explain that nickname. There are better nicknames out there, but that'll do. So, when it comes to Thunderous, there are a lot of things I like about it. Ability, stats... There are a lot of things I don't like about it. Move pool. I don't like this Pokemon's move pool, which is why I kind of held off on whether I wanted to do this at first, but you know what, I had someone that recommended it to me, and I was like, you know what, maybe it could be fun. So, first of all, we have to decide on what kind of set we want, because we have, we have abilities that give us some options here, to be honest. Defiant means we could actually run this thing physical, and it does have quite a nice physical attack stat. However, when it comes to its moves, physical is definitely the worst way to go. Sure, it gets a U-turn, you can use it with Switch Initiative, it can run like Super Power and stuff like that. However, that is not really what I'm after. Instead of that, I'm definitely going to opt with Prankster. I don't know if Prankster works with Nasty Plot, because I'm thinking Nasty Plot. I'm thinking just making this an all-out special attack that's going to set up and destroy some things. So I'm thinking Nasty Plot. Definitely thinking Thunderbolt over any of the other electric type moves. I would go with Thunder, like Rain Darts, but pff, no, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> um, I'm thinking Hidden Power Ice, because Electric and Ice just have that nice pairing together. Because Electric doesn't hit Ground types for anything, whereas Ice hits them super effective. Doesn't hit Grass types very effectively. Ice hits them super effective, and also doesn't have a. It doesn't hit other Electric types. So that's probably the worst thing we have to deal with. The thing that I'm worried about though in this tier is now OU has Quagsire. I know it's been here for a little while, but because this Pokemon is here, I definitely want to run a grass type move rather than anything else. There are some moves that we would normally run, like Focus Blast or Dark Pulse, they're normally what people would run. I'm actually going to run Grass Knot purely because I know it can one hit a Quagsire, and that is probably one of the things that would normally swap in on a Thunderous. Normally they'd be. Not only they'd be more physically defensive than specially defensive, but they could still be in and I'd want to get rid of them. So hopefully Prankster does work with Nasty Plot. I, I'm not all too familiar with Prankster. It's not an ability that I use on my Pokemon a whole bunch, so I'm still learning. I know it works with like Thunder Wave, Swagger, Light Screens and stuff like that because Clef Keeper. I'm not sure how it works with Sad Moves. I think it prioritizes them, but we'll find out in the actual matches. When it comes to an item, this is where I have a dilemma. On this Pokemon, there are good items, there are great items, there are meh items. I can't really differentiate between them. Most people would probably go with like, you know, Life Orb, something like that. Stuff, stuff and clever, but I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna be running Expert Belt on mine, purely because I, I feel like we have enough coverage here. There's a lot of coverage here. Admittedly, it's for specific things, but you know what? There's a specially defensive Quagsire, we're gonna one-hit it. <laughs> that's the aim. <laughs> uh, that's really not the aim, but... I'm not 100% sure on what kind of item I wanted. I thought about Life Orb, but I didn't want the recoil. I thought about having a Focus Sash, but I've... I mean, its defenses are enough to take one hit, so I don't really feel like a Focus Sash is necessary. Plus, we're probably gonna be taking a hit with the Nasty when we set up a Nasty Plot anyway, and eh. It just didn't really seem worth it. So, when it comes to building a core around this Pokémon, it's weak to, like, rock and ice. It's actually a really nice typing, so we don't have too much to worry about. The main thing I'm worried about is ice, so as long as we get something to resist that, I'm not going to be all too worried at all. So, physically defensive Pokemon that resists ice. I don't know why I'd want physical, but a Pokemon that resists ice. I mean, the first thing I see is Slowbro, and honestly, that would fit very, very well. No common weaknesses. It's a really good call. Because it's a core. Oh, I, ha I just thought of the worst name possible for this. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. We're calling it Corey because it's core. I'm. I'm. I'm the worst. Actually, you know what? I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're sticking with the name though. Um, for an item, we'll give it Rocky Helmet because it has the regenerator to get health back anyway. Plus, it can get moves like Slack off, which we will give it. We'll give it Scald. We will give it. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want, Slowbro? What kind of moves are you thinking about having? We could give it something like Thunder Wave. Just for a little bit of tech. Because, I mean, it has some nice special attack anyway, so we don't need to worry about, like, Toxic. 
think we're going to tech the Thunder Wave, and I think we're going to tech Psy Shock. This is a bit of a different set to what I normally do. Normally I'd run Toxic here, or I'd have Ice Beam. One of the two. But we can- we already have ice coverage on our first Pokemon, and I feel like there's probably going to be more ice coverage on this team. Because we don't have a Mega, and there's a Mega that I haven't used in a while, so... We'll see, we'll see. I, well, we don't know if it'll fit on the team, but we'll see. So, we need a specially defensive Pokemon to fit with a Slowbro. My mind is not coming up with anything great, actually. Chansey would work, because, I mean, Chansey's only weak to fighting, and we wouldn't have to worry about fighting when we have a Slowbro. So yes, that would work. I personally don't like Chansey. I'm just not a whole fan of the Eevee Light stall, all that stuff. Clefable though, Clefable can set up Calm Minds, and I kind of prefer that. I think I'm gonna take a Clefable, plus you get Unaware. Oh, we're gonna be such scum right here. We're gonna go with Unaware Clefable. We're gonna give it the leftovers, because all recovery is nice. You're gonna be running a Calm Mind set with Moonblast for your offensive move, and we will give you Soft Boil. Now, normally, I would suggest running, like, Toxic. However, I have a thing I like to do with Fairy-type Pokémon. I don't know if anyone else in the world does this. Someone probably does. But I like to run a Ground-type move. Because when it comes to Fairy-types, I'm sure I've explained this plenty of times now, but Fairy-type moves hit Steel... Sorry, don't hit Steel, Fire, or... Or... Poison. My mind had a blank there. Ground hits all three of those for super effective, meaning that these two moves cover each other pretty much perfectly. So we can run Hidden Power Ground on this thing. We can make it specially defensive. Admittedly, this will mean that we aren't running any Toxic on either of our core, which, yes, that can be seen as a bad thing. However, both of our core is reasonably strong anyway. They're both special attackers. That's one thing we have to keep in mind. Uh, what are we going to name you? Mm, mm, no, no name is coming to mind, but we don't have to worry too much about having Toxic. I'm not 100%, I'm not worried about it or anything, because Unaware Clefable is strong as hell, so we should be fine. Now, name, naming Clefable? I don't have a name for Clefable. I really don't. I mean, Clefable's like a space thing that comes, we'll, we'll just name you Luna. If it, it fits, if it fits the Pokemon, that's all that matters. Um, now we don't have a single physical attacker yet, so I would like a strong physical attacker that I know is strong and destroys things, and I don't know what I really want. Uh, what typing are we weak to? A little bit of a weakness to electric. A little bit of a weakness to dark. No, not a weakness to dark. A weakness to ghost. I, I think ghost still hits very for neutral. So, electric, ghost, they hit us a little bit hard. Not to a point where I'm worried, though. I think we could just choose if we want Excadrill or Garchomp. Either of those ground types. Out of personal preference, I think Garchomp is my favourite. I'm going to try and think of a reason why I would use it over Excadrill. I'm going to try and actually think this through a little bit, because honestly, Ice is a thing. Ice-type weaknesses are a thing, which would mean Excadrill would be better. Personal preference is making me scream Scarf Chomp right now, because a Choice Scarf user would be nice at some point. We're just gonna take the Scarf Chomp, because honestly, I just feel like Scarf- I just feel like Garchomp has just more overall bulk than Excadrill. Well, it obviously does, but I feel like that's the reason I'm gonna choose it. Ice, I'm not worried about too much right now. I mean, we have a core that can kind of- that deals with ice pretty well. I'm not worried. Uh, we will run the Outrage. As annoying as this move can be, we'll run the Earthquake, because power. As for your other moves, I think we'll give you Rock Slide. And... Last move is personal preference. What do I really want? Do I want Poison Jab for fairies? Does Poison really hit anything? Not greatly. Not to a point where I feel like it's useful. Not when we could just Earthquake a Fairy anyway, for nearly as much damage, because Earthquake with Stab, base 100 to 150, it's doing pretty much the same damage as Poison Jab, so there's no point in us having that. Instead, we can run... <sighs> I don't know, I don't know what to tech. I don't know what would be good. 
I really don't. I've had this dilemma a lot of times, but I never really know what's last to put on this thing. Kinda of tempted to run Firefang. Purely for sizzles and things like that. Ferrothorn's a thing. Ferrothorn is definitely a thing. We're gonna run Firefang for Ferrothorn. Really specific, yes. Worth it, sure. Well, potentially. We don't actually know. We're gonna name Sauroth because I, I name a lot of dragon Sauroth now and I don't know why. Not 100% sure why. Just like the name. Now, we still only have one physical attacker, so physical attackers are a must. We also could use a rapid spinner. So, first things first, we do have a Pokemon that is weak to rapid spin, which would be the Pokemon we're building the team around. So, rapid spinner, first of all, we're going to take that. So, what do we see that would be a really good rapid spinner? Not Blastoise, we already have a water type, we already have a ground type. Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, neither of them strike me as good rapid spinners. Starmie, don't need a water type. Kabutops, don't need a water type. Foratress, only weak to fire. That's definitely something we'll keep in mind. Hitmontop. Mmm, 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 mmm. No, mm -hmm. just not feeling that. I think, I think, best thing, Foratress. I think we'll take the Foratress. We'll give you a cast out fairy. I'm sure as soon as everyone sees that, they already know what I'm gonna do with this thing. Yes, I'm gonna give it explosion, cast out fairy, because it's good. We'll take the rapid spin, because obviously that's why we got it. Uh, we'll make you have Stealth Rock, and I think we'll give you Toxic, because we didn't give Toxic to either of our core, so I feel like it's worth having it on this instead. Uh, we'll give you 248 IV, EVs, not IVs, 248 IVs would be insanely good, but we'll give you 248 EVs into HP, the rest in Special Defense, so you can take hits a little bit easier. And I think we'll give you the last 8 points into your attack for the Custap Fairy Explosion if it happens. Obviously, when you are putting a little bit into your defenses, there is a strong chance that, you know, you're not going to get hit by Sturdy straight away. Cast that Berry might not be as useful as you first anticipate. That's fine. What do you look like shiny? I don't think I've ever seen. You're... You're, you're just gold. Gold is a name. Gold is a word nickname when you gold. It makes it look like I've just named it gold because it is gold, but, um... Yeah, I kind of did. <laughs> yeah, I actually really just did that. Um, also, Clefable, I want you to be female. Uh, I don't have any personal preferences to any of the rest. Anyone look good shiny, Azus? What do you even look like shiny? Ooh, no, you can stay as you are. Okay. Final Pokemon on this team. Definitely needs to be something strong and physical. Because I'm still- I like a nice physical special split on our teams. Uh, we have a little bit of a weakness to ice that I can definitely see because we have a four times weakness in Garchomp and a two times weakness in Thunderous. We have a little bit of a weakness to Ghost. So we haven't really dealt with our weaknesses at all, but I think we have... No, we don't have a weakness to Fairy. We have... Fairy we can deal with. With Fortress. Uh... I don't... I don't really know. I kind of want a fighting type. I know it doesn't really deal with uh, the weaknesses I just mentioned, the electric weakness and the ghost weakness, but at the same time... Oh, Megalopony. Oh, Megalopony. That's fast, that's physical, that can deal with ghost types because that's scrappy. That would give us priority fake out. I'm pretty sure I said electric was a weakness, but actually it really isn't, because we have that. The only thing I'm really worried about would be, like, Ghost. Which doesn't hit Lopany, and Lopany can hit it back. I'm looking for any reason to use this Lopany, I don't even care. Okay, we're gonna do it, we're gonna give you... Your ability doesn't actually matter, but we'll give you Limber just on the chance we come in on a Thunder Wave or something. It might, it might happen, the chance of that is very, very low, but... If we can predict it, it could be really good. Uh, we will definitely give you Return, because your Return is stupidly powerful. We'll give you Drain Punch, right? This is where my set differentiates from everyone else. Everyone else likes to run High Jump Kick. I personally don't. I'm the person that misses that 10% of the time, every time. So, I run Drain Punch instead for a little bit more survivability, plus when you have this much attack, it doesn't really matter, it's nice to have some sustain. And for the last move, 
People normally run Ice Punch. And don't get me wrong, I completely understand that. Four times super effective Ice Punch does some good damage to some things. I don't know if that's what I want to run, though. I really don't. I'm going to have a quick look, randomly, through some of the Pokemon that are in the tier, and I'm going to have a quick sort of deduction process of whether I think it's worth it. So obviously it hit Dragonite, it obviously hit Garchomp, those two are fine. It hit Gliscor, which is another Pokemon that would come in. It, it could be worth it just for Gliscor alone. Um, it would allow us to hit, what else would it hit that we don't hit for neutral but higher? Because we hit a lot of things for neutral already, and if we can hit them for neutral with a return, it's the same as a super effective Ice Punch. In fact, return is actually a little bit better than a super effective Ice Punch. So, I mean, it's very, very hard to tell if it's actually worth it or not. I would run Fire Punch, but, I mean, I'm not worried. If Scissor or Ferrothorn wants to come in, we can Drain Punch them. I'm not worried at all. So, I think Ice Punch is the best thing we can go with. I'm not seeing a lot else that we would need other than the four times super effective hits onto, like, Gliscor. And even that we hit for neutral with a return. So, I mean, I'm not particularly worried. Ice Punch just for a little bit of attack then and coverage. If it's useful, it's useful. If not, then, oh well, we wasted a spot. Um, what do you look like, Shiny? I forgot. Yes, you're being Shiny. Yes, you're being Shiny. I'm going to name you Lara because I just feel like it fits. Uh, I, I definitely hit capital L. There we go. So, I think... That's going to be our team for this episode. Uh, is there anything I'm missing? Anything I'm missing? If you guys have any suggestions for future team builders, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I will obviously look through the comments, and if there's a good one that I haven't done before, I'll obviously pick that one, because, I mean, why not? If you also have any, like, set recommendations to try and help other people with this team, leave them in the comments as well. We'll, we'll try and, like, fix this mess of a team that I've made. But I feel like, I feel like it's okay. Some people might disagree with, like, the Hidden Power Ground, Uncle Fable, but that's just my way of running it. So I think... Validate? Validate? No! No! Why? Why is Soft Boiled? Okay, instead of Soft Boiled, we have to run Moonlight. Is that, is that the only problem? That's the only problem. Okay. Not the end of the world. So that is going to be our team for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, it really helps out, and without further ado, bye!